Hey everybody, I'm back out with another video. So this is going to be a collective read. No, it's not a specific uh, sign, it's for whoever needs it. Alright, so we're going to pull some energy here, pull the tarot, and get some advice, okay? So give me a collective message, please. Give me a collective message. What message do you have for the collective? What's going on with the collective spirit? Give me a message for the collective, please. All right, we got a jumper. Oh, we got viral. Somebody is, looks like they're going viral. All right. Lots of thumbs up, approval. You got the green light. Some of y'all is on Instagram or Facebook. Or whatever social media site that you are currently on, it looks like you are going viral. Okay. Hmm. Some of you do makeup. I'm seeing makeup because we got we got basic right here, and then we got filter. So it could have something to do with your pictures. Your pictures are going viral. Some of y'all do makeup, but you're definitely getting a lot of recognition for it. Okay, you're getting a lot of recognition. Okay, yeah, it's a lot of flexing going on. You've been waking people up, okay? We got woke. You've been waking people up because you've been out here flexing. You've been out here putting it down all about yourself. You've been taking pride in yourself. You've been being real arrogant, flashy, and some may call it bragging and boasting, but it is what it is, okay? Whatever it is you're doing, you got people talking about you. They're talking, okay? They're talking about you, how you how you physically look, your physical attributes. Um, you, some of y'all been in the gym, your body just looks good. You've been putting a lot of hard work and you're physically attractive. They could be feeling like you're bragging. Now, like I said, you got some you got a stalker, not just one, but it's the whole squad. Okay. It's a whole bunch of people that are watching you. Okay. They're watching you blow up. They're watching you rise. They're watching you on the rise, okay? They could be trying to find a way to finesse. I just seen finesse. They could be trying to find a way to finesse you out of that, out of, you know, trying to pick you up out your bag or trying to, you know, throw you off your game. But baby, you going to the top, okay? You going to the top. What other message do we have? All right, for some of you, we got simp now. Some of you guys could have been dealing with, some of y'all dealing with a, a, a punk ass, you got a punk ass for a boyfriend, okay? Some of y'all feel played when it comes to the relationships because it got you feeling like sad or lonely or you're upset because a relationship ended. You felt like you... Got played. So, a lot of y'all just put on, look, y'all, this is my pretend or fake card, okay? Sugar coat and shit. And, you know, the grass wasn't greener. It was really basic. So, it's like this lifestyle of this bougie lifestyle. This person that you're dealing with, they've been breadcrumbing you. So, I feel like you went and got it out on your own. Yes, there's that. Yes, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. It's something about your pictures that's doing it. You got a lot of people shook. You got a lot of people in their feelings. Got a lot of people talking about you. Okay? About some things that you're posting. Things that you're saying. Yep. Somebody's salty. Now, you got somebody over here, it's a female over here, who wants to put you possibly on blast, okay? You got somebody over here that want to put you on blast, okay? Somebody's judging you for your sexuality. You, f They feel like they should judge you. They feel like they want to put you to shame. They want to put you on blast, possibly because they've been getting breadcrumbed. 
So they want to put you on blast because it's like you got it all when they over here getting bread from. Maybe you, some of y'all aren't dealing with a sim. Some of y'all just got somebody that's just in love with y'all and somebody's salty about it. And on top of that, you're winning when it comes to the social media game, like you're on top of your game. Some of you are have dove into your spirituality, okay? Um, you searching for a deeper meaning. You're discovering the magic around you. You're manifesting. And you got some trolls, okay? Somebody is looking at you being love bombed, possibly by their lover. For some of you, this person, it had two storylines. Take it as it resonates. But somebody is a straight up simp. You could have been dealing with somebody who's straight up simp, but then you could be dealing with somebody who is just very, would be considered a simp, quote unquote, um, but they're really a really good person. They're really caring, loving, they, they give you the attention that you want, they, they stick beside you, they're loyal. People would kind of say like, oh, that's being, that's being a simp, but I see y'all being love bombed. And then you got these trolls. Look at this Instagram account. You got these trolls over here. You could be minding your business on your little spiritual journey. And here's this person. Go again. Somebody got ghosted and they're upset. Somebody got ghosted. So this person could have chose you over someone else. And somebody salty about it. Because you're blowing up. You're going viral. And things are looking good for you, but it wasn't like that for them. Now we got basic. So basic is basically what it is. Plain and simple, mainstream in your taste, and so unoriginal, unexciting. You may feel like you ain't even doing you may be feeling like this is the most simplest thing. And then you got these thirst traps after you. Like, you could post a basic picture. You ain't even got to do too much. You could just be put on something that you might think is simple or basic. But then when you post that picture or that, that product or whatever it is online, people, it's grasping people's attention. And then you got this group of people over here that's throwing shade. You got a whole squad of people over here throwing shade at whatever it is that you're accomplishing. Because it looks like you're accomplishing something. You're doing something way bigger than them. They salty about it. They salty because you're getting approval. You're getting the approval for it. You're getting a pass for it. Like, people are believing in it, believing you. Like, you're getting that. Somebody could be like, oh, how all of a sudden they so spiritual? They was just out here doing this, this, that. I don't know. We going to judge them. No, remember when? Remember when? Hmm. That's a damn shame. Let's put a tarot. Let's find out. Let's find out what's what's on this person's mind. Why is this person acting like this? But this person over here, they feel it. Who is this person? What's going on about this person? Tell me more about this person that's coming towards my collective. Tell me more about this person. Who are these people? What are their intentions? What does my collective need to know? All right. So definitely I'm getting... Like, somebody think that they should be first. Somebody think that they should be a priority. Now, we got the strength card here, the four of swords and the ace of pentacles. So, it could be a Leo. Somebody think that they should be first priority. Okay. Somebody offered a relationship.
Okay, let's get into this because this is, yeah, the story is starting to unravel. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. Oh, yeah, the Nine of Pentacles came out in reverse. None of my cards are reverse. But. Hmm. This person could be a Virgo. Well, that's a hermit here. Okay. So this person feels like maybe you should keep some things private. Maybe they feel like you've been showing showing too much. Somebody could be keeping their distance. This person could you could have been closer to this person at one point then then this person distanced themselves. Why is the nine of pentacles reverse here? The Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? King of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with the water sign. Okay, so somebody feels like the challenge is somebody feeling like they need to walk away from this connection. Somebody doesn't feel confident. Somebody doesn't feel somebody doesn't feel secure about themselves. So somebody's insecure. Maybe this is why they've been keeping their distance. Okay. I'm getting like you intimidate. You intimidate this person. This person could be could want to open up to you and express to you their struggles that they are going through, but I'm getting very insecure energy. All right, this person has been watching you. This person has been watching you. But they feel like you're like exaggerating. Maybe you're telling lies. You're exaggerating. That's what I'm getting. Like they feel like mm, you you lie. You 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 exaggerating. I gotta see. I gotta see. Now, the Page of Wands is here for future energy. Yeah. It's like, they want to speak their truth to you. Now, we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person wants to speak their truth about something here. Why is the King of Swords here? Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, and the Three of Cups. This is somebody who you could have been friends with, but things have just been kind of slow between you and this person. This person does want to talk to you. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles. This person feels left out in the cold, like you left them out in the cold. Possibly for someone else with the empress and the emperor here. This is a baby mother, baby father, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. So somebody feels like maybe you, um, maybe like you're not including them um, in what you have going on, whether it be like a relationship or a marriage or uh, something to this nature. It's like this person feels left out by you. They want to see 
what you think about a problem, if you can help them solve a problem that they have. Like they've been trying to fix this on their own, but they don't know how to come towards you because they done created this distance. Now we got the will here. Yeah, this person has had a lot of drama going on. Ain't nothing change. So whatever, whatever was going on before this person separated themselves from you, ain't nothing changed. They still got a lot of drama in front of them. person got a lot of drama going on and but they're distancing themselves it seems like they're distancing themselves from you i could see you over here feeling like you know you thought the you know they could handle the situation so maybe you fell back confirmation now we got the two of wands This person wants to do something about it. Like, they want to change their situation so bad. They want to do something about it so bad. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is the outcome. They want to talk to you. They want your advice. Um, but they're being patient. You could be in a new situation. You can have a new relationship, and it can seem like it's going well for you because we got the sun and the four of wands. So it could be going well for you. So you're dealing with somebody. It sounds like this person is insecure. They have a lot of things going on in their life. They're looking at your life and your life is just rising. Like you're going to the top. You took them falling back as like a sign and you kept your life moving. And now they don't even know how to even come towards you and approach you. Tell me more. What is this person's intention towards the collective? This could be male or female. Okay, we got not today. So they're avoiding conversation. They're avoiding com communicating with you. They could be trying to rekindle. They could be trying to rekindle something. They're going, they changed their mind about something. But this person is definitely avoiding talking to you. Maybe because they feel like you might change their mind about something. But then this person. We got a heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Then we got a Grim Reaper here. The Grim Reaper is an indie. So it's like not welcome. I'm hearing not welcome. This person may want you to feel unwelcome. This person has been watching you. This person has been wearing a mask. This person is chasing some type of dream. or, um, But things aren't elevating for them. Okay. Maybe they feel like you're talking about them. I'm getting like, oh gosh, this person. Tell me more. 
self-indulgence. So this person has been focusing on themselves. They're self-appreciating. Yeah, they're trying to evolve. Maybe they're trying to get a relationship to go to the next level. Um, so they maybe they decide that you guys need to separate, have some separate time. Um, I see a lot of girl talk. Maybe you and this person talk a lot, possibly on the phone together, but I'm getting a separation period. Um, it's like this person is focusing possibly on their marriage or a relationship, but we got X. Okay. So a tie had to be cut. We got an X and twin flame. So a tie had to be cut in order for them to move forward in their relationship. Yeah, we got engagement ring. So they're trying to take their relationship to the next level. So they had to cut a tie with you. But this is the thing. They had to do all of that, but still want to be around you. Still want to see what you're doing. Low-key looking at you, what you got going on, and, you know, kind of look feeling salty that they, they aren't a part of it. Like, make it make sense. All right, so if this message resonated with you guys, be sure to hit the thumbs up as well as share with your family and your friends. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.